Our task as parliament, Mr. Speaker, is not to jubilate. It's not to jubilate that our country is facing challenges, that the ruling party is on the defensive, and therefore we have achieved some political ends. Mr. Speaker, what shall it profit a man? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, what shall it profit a man if you get all the political advantage and your own country goes down? Mr. Speaker, we have seen this morning a selective, a selective use of data, especially from the minority, to create an impression of doom for Ghana's economy. What have Ghanaians done to us? Mr. Speaker, I agree with Honorable Atifor Singh. I agree with Honorable Opoku Bobie. I agree with Honorable Isaac Adongo that not all the factors are external. That is true. Oh, Eric Opoku, I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. That, Mr. Speaker, not all the factors are external. I agree with them. Some of the factors are domestic, and the minister did indicate that in his presentation to us. Mr. Speaker, it is those domestic factors that have been responsible for Ghana going to the IMF 17 times. Mr. Speaker, when we went to the IMF the 16th time, Mr. Kenoforiata was not a finance minister of this country. Mr. Speaker, in those 15 times, as a country, we went to the IMF for bailout. It wasn't Nana Abidanko Akufuad who was the president of this country. So if today we have the opportunity to deal with a matter that has been worrying our economy for so long, why would people jubilate that the current government is on the defensive or the current government has indicated challenges to which we must all find solutions?